Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Welcome to the new episode of Medical Research Made Easy. Today we are going to continue with randomized control trials. And we will see some new facts about randomized control trials. Those who have not seen our previous video on the basics of RCTs, I'll advise them to first see that video. So let us discuss what is blinding in randomized control trials. Blinding is basically concealment of group allocation from one or more individuals involved in a research study. So basically blinding is the concealment or to hide out the facts. Blinding can be single blind, double blind or triple blind. The single blind trial are those in which the part participants are not aware whether they belong to control or treatment group. The double blind trial are those in which neither the participant nor the doctor who is actively doing the research is aware of the group and the treatment. It means that the doctor who is doing the research does not know that the patient he is treating belongs to the treatment group or the control group nor the doctor knows that the treatment he is giving to the patient is the actual drug or the placebo. In triple blind trial, the participant, the doctor and the person who is analyzing the data, they all are unaware of the groups and the treatment. The ideal in the randomized control trial are the triple blind trials, but most of the time double blind trials are conducted. So now let us discuss the designs of the randomized control trials. One of the famous designs are the parallel design. In, in which each group of participants will be exposed to only one of the treatment. For example, one group will receive the new drug and the other group will receive the placebo. This is the picture showing a parallel design of RCT. There are two groups, the group A and the group B. The group A is receiving the drug only, while the group B is receiving the placebo. And the facts of each will be seen separately. Another design of randomized control trial is the crossover design in which each participant is given all the treatments like drug and the placebo in successive periods. The crossover design introduces comparison within the participants of the group. This is the picture showing the crossover design of a randomized control trial and you can see that each participant in the group is receiving both the drug that is the actual drug and the placebo. Another design in the randomized control trial is the factorial design. Various treatment options are tested separately and in combinations. And the treatment options are also combined with placebo drug. Suppose one is doing a randomized control trial on the effects of an opioid analgesic and an NSAID drug. In this RCT, the opioids will be tested separately, the NSAIDs will be tested separately, and then various combinations like opioid plus NSAID, the opioid plus placebo, and the NSAID plus placebo will be tested, and then the results will be analyzed. Now let us see some of the types of the randomized control trials. One of the types are the clinical trials. They involve evaluation of the therapeutic agents and the mainly drugs. The famous example of clinical trial is the evaluation of beta blockers in reducing cardiovascular mortality in patients surviving the acute phase of myocardial infarction. It was a famous clinical trial. The clinical trial may involve the testing of a new drug, which involves three phases. The phase one trial in clinical trials, they involve testing the safety of a new drug on human volunteers. Often these trials are not randomized and not controlled. Patients with cancers and AIDS, they do participate in the phase 1 trials. In phase 2 trials, after the safety of a new drug is established, the efficacy of a new drug in terms of dosage and administration is tested. And this phase 2 trial is conducted on the patients with actual disease. But a small number of disease patients is selected, usually 20 or less than 20. After the successful completion of phase 2 trial, the phase 3 trials are conducted. The phase 3 trials, they are mostly the randomized control trials. They compare a new drug with an existing drug or a control. Another type of 
randomized control trial are the preventive trials they focus on preventive measures trial of vaccines are the common example of preventive trials one of the famous example of preventive trial was the trial of three different vaccines of whooping cough that was conducted in the uk in 1946 so 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 that's all for the randomized control trial today next time we will see inshallah how to write the introduction of a medical research article thank you very much